a total of six bucks. No. Nope. It's your girl Jay and today I am here with my first most anticipated releases of the year video. I have a total of five books that are releasing in January 2020 that I'm excited about. As always, I tried to pick books that aren't super duper popular because nobody got time to watch the same videos over and over again that just talk about the exact same books over and over again. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book that I am excited for is called The Dilemma. It's by B.A. Paris and this comes out January 23. 2020. This follows Livia who is planning her 40th birthday party. She wants it to be very extravagant because she didn't have the big wedding she always dreamed of. Everybody will be attending her party except for her daughter Marnie. But Livia is hiding a secret about her daughter Marnie from her husband Adam that she doesn't want to tell him until after the party is over. But little does she know that Adam is also hiding a secret that may change their lives forever and it's like the story of that. I don't know what happened, but I'm thinking Livia, like, did something because she's studying in Hong Kong, so, like, maybe she killed somebody and, like, called Livia and was like, yo, mama, help me. I don't know. Or maybe, like, Adam's having an affair. I don't know. I'm just, I'm excited. I want to know what happened. I've read a couple of B.A. Paris's books, and I either give them, like, a 3, 3.54, so... I'm excited for this one. The next book I have on my list is called The Lookalike and it is by Erica Splinder. This is to be released January 28th, 2020. This book follows Sienna Scott who has grown up with her mother's paranoid delusions. After her mother's murder, she returns to her childhood home to confront her past. As strange things begin to occur around the house, Sienna starts to believe that she may have been the original target of her mother's murderer and that they will stop at nothing until they right their mistake and it's like... The story of that. So, I'm thinking it's like she doesn't know her delusions from reality, that kind of story, or maybe there actually is a murderer. I guess we'll find out when we read it, but I'm intrigued. The next book on my list is called Lie to Me. This is by Caitlin Ward. This is to be released January 7th, 2020. And this follows a girl named Amelia who wakes up in a hospital bed and is unable to remember anything. Her friends and family tell her that she almost died when she fell from a very great height. She swears she is pushed, but everybody else is telling her differently. And that's when another girl nearby falls from a very great height but this time they don't survive. So with the help of her boyfriend Liam, she decides to discover what really happened to her that night and whether or not she did just fall or if something more sinister is occurring. I think it was Liam. That's my prediction or like one of the family members. But I'm gonna say Liam because it's always the boyfriend. The next book on my list is called If She Were Dead and this is by J.P. Smith and this is also to be released January 7th, 2020. This book follows Emile and Janet. Both are in love with the same man, Janet's husband. Emile decides to start an affair with Janet's husband but that's not good enough for her and it's basically the story of what Emile will do for love and I'm guessing it's like a whole thing where she's deciding whether or not to kill Janet for the husband. I mean, the title is If She Were Dead, so maybe it's just like a bunch of scenarios where she's like killing off Janet so that she can live her life. I'm here for it. And then the final book that I have is We Used to Be Friends by Amy Spaulding. This is also releasing January 7th, 2020. This story is told in dual perspective and alternating timelines between the past and the present, and it's basically the story of the hardest breakup imaginable, childhood best friends. I'm actually super excited about this because I definitely think that it's important literature. I haven't seen a lot of books about childhood best friend breakups, so I'm actually very interested to see where this book goes. I'm hoping that it does it in a really great way that'll help a lot of people, but I guess we'll see when it comes out. Alright everybody, so those were my five most anticipated releases for January 2020. I can't believe it's January 2020 already, like time flies. Let me know down below if you guys are planning on reading any of these books or if by the time you see this video you have read some of these books and let me know how they were and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!